Hi, I'm Rumi Portillo with Imago Fitness, and today I'm going to show you a couple of delicious and very nutritious meals that you can make in advance so that you can stay on track and have a very healthy week. I'll show you how easy it is. We're prepping citrus teriyaki salmon, and I take a sprinkle of kosher salt, about a half a teaspoon for this large salmon filet is about all you need. Low sodium teriyaki sauce, and I'm sprinkling about two tablespoons over the salmon. Next, we'll add some fresh orange peel. I grate a small amount of orange peel right over the salmon. Cut the orange in half and squeeze the juice of that half right over the salmon filet. Look at all that lovely juice. Oh my goodness. Now take a couple tiny dabs of butter, no more than a teaspoon for a lot of flavor. Now it'll, this is going under the broiler and the setting is on broil high for about 20 minutes. While that's in the oven, I'm chopping up two tablespoons of green onion and I'm gonna set that aside for garnish. And while the salmon is in the oven, we're gonna start our second dish. We're gonna make some chicken. So here I've got the chicken breast and I'm pounding it flat with a rolling pin until it's even. This will help the chicken cook more evenly and stay tender. I'm drizzling a teaspoon of olive oil over the chicken breast on both sides. This is garlic infused olive oil, but any type of oil will do. We'll be adding dried garlic powder and some dried herbs, but you can always experiment and use different seasonings just for fun. You can add anything to this chicken at this point. I'm generously sprinkling garlic powder all over, then some thyme and some parsley. I've been taking the salmon out because it's done and the chicken has gone in the oven, same setting. While the chicken is in, I am starting veggies and here you see high heat and some olive oil. I've thrown the asparagus in and while the asparagus is in there, I'm just prepping this bell pepper. It's red bell pepper and I'm gonna make some thin slices to throw into the pan. You can always do this part in advance if you want, but I just do it very quickly and throw it right in the pan. I'm turning the chicken over. It's, gonna, it's been in for 10 minutes and I'm flipping it over for another 10 minutes. We're using microwavable brown rice just because this prepping is going so quickly today. So while the chicken is finishing up, I am making our rice and now I'm taking the salmon and the assembly begins. Look at that gorgeous dish. The chicken is ready. I'm gonna take it out and let it rest a little bit. And then I'll start slicing it up and assembling the rest of my meals. We've got delicious chicken and some gorgeous salmon with veggies and rice. So we've got a, two different main meals to last the week.